You're going in with an early blizz. Ooh, that's a nice spot for the blizz. With the hound out in front. <gasps> but the NATO! Oh! Does he still get the town hall? Oh, he's only got two invis left. Bro, that NATO from Lanzlotta was perfect. We're in, ladies and gentlemen, with match number two of the grand finals here in the LIC tournament. If you missed match number one, you have to go back and check out the last video. It was a 15 to 15 perfect tie. One of the best matches we've seen in a while. And now today we have match number two, which is gonna decide it all. And X team going in with another 10 healer charge. Bro, did Vitang just use the same base? What? With money on the line and they forgot to change their base? <laughs> oh gosh, dude. Vitang really don't want to win this grand finals. Lol. All right. We got XPB rerunning the same attack he did in the last match. <laughs> With the 10 healer charge. LOL. Just keep raging the queen. Keep her alive. Did they try to bait it? Or no? This is just a huge mistake from CDR of the Tang. How does he not change base after they just got perfect ward? I am Confucian. Oh, they got different CC troops this time. <laughs> like that's gonna make a difference? Last time I'm pretty sure it was like triple ice golem, right? Or is this still the same CC? I don't know. He's just doing the exact same plan. This time Queen's not even in range of the single when she fights the CC. <laughs> is the blimp baited maybe? No? Yo, this was just a straight up, straight up mistake from Vitang to use the same base. Here we go with the RC charge from the south side. Same thing they did in the last match. All right, all right. Down goes the multi on the bottom. I mean, it's not even that exciting to cast because we already know what's going to happen. He did this in the last match. Jeez, I can't believe they forgot to change base. Lol. <laughs> Warden switches over to help the queen. We're going to rage up the RC charge. Got a wizard here on the outside. We got one invis in the bag. Sure. She's got to rely on the RC to finish off the rest of the base. She's taking a lot of damage, though. Uh-oh. Only one invis left. Come on, RC. Hurry up. Hurry up. Queen's going to end up beating on a wall. We still got her ability to help out. RC is just responsible for cleaning up the top side of the base. Alrighty. Already got all the cleanup wizards. Minion for the pad again. RC is getting uh, healed back up. Looks decent. Looks decent here for XBB of X team. Alrighty. There is a queen ability. He can pop the RC ability whenever he wants. Or he can swag it. Because he's got the invis spell. Or he can swag both. The ability and the invis spell. It's smashed. There goes the ability. Just to help with time. Just in case this match ends up being another perfect perfect. I think then time will actually play a factor. So that was an interesting invis. It does keep the minion alive, so I guess it was decent. Down goes the last storage. Bro, this got so close on time. Woo! Three seconds to spare. And it's a three star for XBB to kick things off here in match number two. Diff is in with the next attack for Vatang. The first one of match number two here. Going in with another Sui Lalo. All right, let's see if Diff is gonna be able to get it done here against Melly's base. Got a double multi set up in the core. We're gonna Sui the Queen for the Town Hall. We shouldn't be pulling the CC troops with that Queen, which is nice. We're gonna wall break the King into a strange compartment. Is that where he meant for the wall breaker to go? Because that really doesn't give him anything except the Archer Tower. Very strange. We're gonna send RC for the scatter shot. And King's even gonna end up pulling CC. Oh, or not. He just barely doesn't pull the CC, okay. <laughs> He's gonna beat through the wall to go tank for the Royal Champion. That's some nice additional value. So the Royal Champion is going to get extra value because the King's tanking for her for a little while. Beautiful. Queen got the single target Inferno Tower as well as the Town Hall. The Sui is going perfectly for him as long as RC gets the scatter and she does. All right. That's everything he wanted and then some. How are we going to do this Lalo? He's got a Battle Blimp activated. Is he actually going to blimp? Sends a few loons for the Warden Tower. He is. He's going to try to blimp the core. But it's not even going to the core. What what the heck was that blimp? Sure. What the poison spell in the core. Oh. 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 It's a clone. Oh, and he gets both Inferno Tower. Oh, 
Oh, Diff, you dirty dog. That was nice. We send the rest of the Lalo from the left side of the base. Still got the Warren ability. Still got two Skelly spells to use. Bro, that clone was perfect. He got both Inferno Towers with that. Nice. This is crushed. Dragon in the middle, working on cleanup. We can send Headhunters. We can Skelly the Queen. We can freeze. Yeah, this base is wrecked all day long. Aced into that last expo. The Lava Hound is not even going to die. Wow, he swags two spells in the core. A freeze. Actually, that was three spells. Two freezes and a haste. Bro, diff. Holy crap. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. Nice attack from diff, dude. That was awesome. With the blimp in the core with the calculated clone spell to take out both Inferno Towers. Kill the CC troops. Down goes Melly's base. And we're all tied up. Three stars apiece. Kim Kim is in with the next attack. Bringing us some more wee wee action with a few Barch troops as well. Okie dokie. We're gonna start the warden nice and early here on the left side of the base. Here we go. <laughs> he should be able to set a funnel. Take out the air defense, I'm guessing, is the goal. And then we can enter into the scattershot compartment. Send the king for the eagle with the siege barracks. Looks like it. Looks like it. <clears throat> Let's see if that's how it's gonna go down. Yeah, ooh, we're going early. We're not even going to wait for the air defense to go down. He's going to make sure he gets good average attack duration here. Remember, if they keep going perfect, this actually is going to come down to average attack duration. And if you remember, if you watch match number one, X team were up or winning on average attack duration by five seconds after five attacks, which is a total of what, 25 total seconds? So they have a slight, slight lead if this does end up being two perfects in a row. RC in from the top side of the base. We're going to double jump all the way through the middle of the base here. King's going to die, but he clears everything, including the Tesla farm in the top side compartment. Okay, dokie. Okay. RC is going to be responsible for the right side. Peckers and Wee Wee's and Queen going to be responsible for the middle and the left here. We're going to freeze the town hall. We're going to continue to rage our way through it. Pop the Warren ability. That single target Inferno Tower, though. What's it locked onto? It's hard to tell. Oh, it's locked onto the warden, but the queen snipes it. Beautiful. Hello, tornado trap. Everybody doing the disco dance over there. Dude, we still got super wizards alive. We got hogs from the siege barracks getting sprung into another dimension. RC with ability. Two freezes in the bag. It's crushed. My gosh, these teams literally do not know how to fail. Wow. Beautiful attacks, man. Beautiful. Another three star here for Kim Kim. And X team with another fast attack. We got to start keeping time in the back of our minds now. This was a fast attack, so they are gonna have a slight lead here. It's up to Vatang to go in with another three star. Lands Lada is in with the next attack for Vatang. Going in with a little queen charge Lalo action. Okay, with a jump spell. Here we go. Let's see how Lands Lada is gonna be able to do it against Din Din's base. Got a wizard to funnel the right side. Looks like we're trying to skip the town hall at first. I believe that's the plan. Gonna wall break into the archer tower. Maybe. Yes. Does it hit the junction? No. We won't have access to the town hall. We could send the king there later if we wanted to, but I think he's gonna send the king for the scatter because he already funneled up at 9.30. Gonna need to rage this queen very soon. There goes the rage. We're gonna invest a freeze as well because that sweeper is being very very pesky there we go with the king on the left side of the base queen's gonna step up this is looking really good so far tc troops are gonna come out soon here they come Ooh, but queen's taking a lot of damage and i mean a lot scatter shot warden tower expo multi Ooh. there goes the second poison for the pups king needs to hurry up and get that scatter so there's less damage on the queen we got to jump to get her to the core Ooh, and again a nicely placed jump also allows the king to take advantage of it. Beautiful. King and queen can use those jumps in different ways. There's the tornado. <gasps> queen going to be doing the disco dance straight into a wall for a few seconds. That poor baby girl. Slithering her tail. Here we go. King on the left. Probably should have already sent the RC to help support. I guess we're going to lolo from the top. Yep. Just going to blimp the town hall later, I reckon. Here we go with the lolo. Might need to freeze up top, sir. We're gonna rage. He's trying not to freeze. Did he just send the RC straight into the Barbarian King? 
Yeah, but we got headhunters to help support. There goes a blimp for the town hall. Queen pops her ability. Down goes the air sweeper. Warden ability has been popped. Blimp makes it to the town hall. No tornado to worry about. We already popped it earlier. We got headhunters in the warden ability and our queen to tag team the enemy royal champion. Down goes the royal champion. Down goes the town hall. We're going to freeze the scatter shot on the right. Town hall does indeed drop. We got the RC ability. No, we don't. But we got tons of loons. Already got through the scatter shot. 55 seconds for cleanup. This is wrecked, bro. These teams literally do not know how to fail. It's insane. Wow. Beautiful attack here from Lands Lotta. Going to absolutely smash Din Din's base. Down goes the gold source on the top side. We got a swag loon in the bag. Plenty of time here on the clock. 32-ish seconds to spare. Maybe 31, maybe 30. Beautifully done. Either way, it's a clan class triple. And we are still all tied up. Six stars apiece. X team are in with the next attack. Going in with a little skybird action here. All right, we got three skeleton spells. We're going to wall break king and queen in for the eagle artillery. Okay. Skeleton spells to help distract for the suey. Nice. Skybird going in. Oh, the king goes outside. But then he goes back in. Yo, what the? And Yak's beating on a wall? Hello? Yak? Sure. We're gonna kill the enemy road champion. Take out the Eagle Artillery. Skybird's in from the bottom side. Here we go. Rage everybody up so we can kill the Archer Queen quickly, please. Lots of archers in the CC. Super minions as well. We're gonna blimp the Town Hall not inside the Warren ability. He's still holding on to that Warren ability. Losing lots of Dragon Riders by not popping that Warden ability. Hello, Mr. Squiggles. There goes the Warren ability. Archer Queen will go down. Blimp found the Tornado but still makes it to the Town Hall with the Rage Spell. Down it goes. We got a heal spell, but we're going to wait till everything's dead to use the heal? Ooh, this is looking really wonky. Come on, man. You got to use your spells. I you used that heal like 10 years ago. Oh, gosh. This is looking really wonky. Not going to NGO. We got a lot of spells I guess we can use for the Royal Champion. But we send her straight into a Tesla farm. Oh, and the Skelly spells are not even distracting the Teslas or the Scattershot. We're going to pop her ability. Got to use the invis. Please, use the invis. Thank you. We'll get the scatter shot. We still got that heal for the dragons. We're going to freeze for the dragons and not for the royal champion. Was that the right call? He has the heal. He is refusing to use the heal. Oh my gosh. You're going to heal the royal champion? No. You had like four dragons. Oh. Mr. Squiggles. Rip. I think we're seeing the first fail of the day. Dang it. How much percent can he get? Because it's actually going to be super important. In case Vatang also end up having to fail. We're going to clear the clan castle. We got a minion on the south side. We're going to get close to 90. I don't know why. The warden ability was super late. The heal spell was just never used. Yeah, that, that probably should have been a triple. I bet if he pops a warden ability way earlier, uses the heal before all the dragons are dead, this probably would have powered through the base. But we got plenty of time for the minion on the south side, so it looks like it's going to be an 88 percent attack here if the minion has enough time maybe did i jinx it might be an 87 come on little minion hurry up dude hurry up bro he's not gonna have enough time this is gonna be an 87 87 percent attack here from x team which means they have to get a defense if they want to win the grand finals here in the lic tournament this one is indeed going to fall short at 87%. CDR is in with the next attack for Batang. If they triple again, they're going to be looking good here with a lead over X team. We're going in with a little more wee wee action. Oh, baby, we get to see CDR's wee wee. Rip. CDR forgot to change his base after match number one. Hopefully, he can make up for it with another three star at least. We're going to do a warden walk for the Eagle Artillery. Double break here on the bottom right. You can already see the plan shaping up. We're going to send the Wee Wee through the middle. Send the King into the bottom compartment. And Siege Barracks. Ooh. That would be risky bisky. We are not going to give the Warden enough time to snipe the Eagle. But that's okay because the Queen can reach it over the wall. King's going to go inside. Peckers and Wee Wee's going inside. Eagle is shooting the Warden, which is not good news. We got a jump to get us through the back end of the base. We're going to wall break. Ooh, nice. That gets us all the way to the core. Beautiful wall break in action. We need that queen to step up for the eagle. Holding on to the warden ability. 
Got another wall break over here on the left side. This is looking really good. King can take out the scatter shot. Still holding on to that queen ability. I mean, the warden ability. There it goes. Poison spell for the super minions. Can pop the king ability to take out the scatter and the queen. Where's the jump? Sorry, you got a jump spell to use. There we go. His jump spell all the way to the back end of the base. Town Hall should be safe. Hogs coming out from the bottom side of the base uh, from the Siege Barracks. We've got the Royal Champion to help support as well. Hogs don't even have to go through the Bomb Tower, which is cash money. We're going to heal the Hogs. Oh, nice. Freeze the Town Hall again. Down it goes. We heal the Hog Riders through the multi. RC at full health with ability. Freeze spell in the bag. Queen still has ability. The King still has his ability? This is smashed, bro. A minute and 20 for cleanup. This is absolutely demolished. CDR with a beautiful wee wee. Hello, well. Absolutely smashing Kim Kim's base. Already swagging the freeze on the clan castle. The absolute disrespect. Down goes all the defenses. Over a minute to go for cleanup. This is just beautiful here from CDR. All four heroes still alive. Even has a pecker charge going strong on the outside of the base. LOL. 99% and 100 for the three star. And Vitang will indeed take the lead now. Nine stars to eight. Meli is in with the next attack for X team. They have to triple out, honestly, and hope for a defense. Let's see if they're going to be able to do it. Meli going in with a little wee wee action. Okay. Going to start off with the warden here to make a funnel on the four o'clock side of the base going to try to snipe the air defense and probably the expo as well unless we're just going to wall break right there by the gold storage warden going to step up makes a nice short little funnel yep there goes the wall break by the gold storage lexnos can see the future we really just need to snipe the wizard tower in the funnel set there we go with the oh did we go with the log launcher first that log launcher is going to take a lot of damage though I think he dropped the log launcher too early. No, we're going to be okay. Whew. All right. Peckers and Weewees going in from the 5 o'clock side of the base. Log launcher to hopefully get us through into the core, which is on the outside. Log launcher gets hit by giant bombs, though. Please tell me the log launcher stays alive long enough to get through the wall. Please. Please. Oh, I don't think it did. Rip. We're going to have to drop a interesting jump here. Oh, that's a swag freeze. Okay, Melly. Queen taking a lot of damage from the double multi. Peckers and Weewees are going the wrong way. Oh, this is getting really awkward because the log launcher didn't stay alive long enough. Mm. Pop that warden ability. Queen gets back up to full health. We got the poison spell, but we're refusing to use it for some reason. Hello? Melly? Poison spell? Thank you. There goes the jump spell. Everybody going to make their way to the left. Queen beats through a wall. She's the worst wall breaker in the game as usual, but that was a decent wall. She gets the right side multi. Rage on the top side. We already have the Royal Champion in with the rest of the spam troops instead of on the outside. Okay. She's standing inside the Giga Juice of Death. Now she goes to the left, finds the Tornado Trap. She's about to be doing the disco dance, but the tornado expires. Oh. All the healers die. Royal Champ already popped her ability. Queen's going to pop her ability. Oh my gosh, right as I say, she picks a good wall. She goes and picks the worst wall possible. Rip. Scatter shot stays up. We got a rage, but I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get through this scatter. Ooh. Rage the road champion. Hope there's no skellies. Here we go. Come on, RC. Please get the scatter. Get the scatter. Get the scatter. <gasps> the scatter is tanked. The RC. There's no skelly. She gets it. Oh, that was close, but it's a triple. Wow. Nice recovery from Melly. It's going to be a three star for X team and they're still in it, but they have to get a defense. We'll see if they can do it. But Tang have two attacks left. Yurek is in with the next attack for Vatang. They are still perfect. And let's see if he can keep it up. Going in with little queen charge hybrid action. Ooh, he pulls the triple ice golem CC early. That's actually nice. Coco Loon out in front. Healers on the queen. She can easily deal with that CC here on the outside of the base. Okay. I like that. Looks like after she's done dealing with the CC, she should walk south. We currently have a log launcher activated for a hybrid. I can't remember the last time I saw somebody use a log launcher on a hybrid attack. This is going to be cool. See if it works. And I can already see the plan though. Log launcher through the core of the base so queen has access to everything. And then he can hybrid from the left or the right. Probably the left, I would think, is the better value. But we'll see what he chooses. <clears throat> there goes the first wall break to get Queen inside. That way we can delay the log launcher. We don't want to use it till later. Queen's going to go inside. Coco Loon searching for any secret air mines. Doesn't find any. 
She already dealt with the CC, so we don't even gotta worry about the CC troops. I'm really surprised he didn't bring any headhunters, though. Even just one headhunter probably would have helped the queen tremendously to get through this enemy king. We're just gonna have to rage through him, though. Okay, sure. One more Cocoloon for good luck. Log Launcher gonna make its way through. Queen can fight the king. We're gonna have to rage up. A party wizard for the air defense. Nice, nice, nice. The logs are gonna get her all the way to the town hall. She'll be able to reach everything, dude. And here we, <clears throat> here we go. Just like I thought. Hybrid from the left. King on the outside with a bunch of Teslas there, but he'll be okay. Queen fights the enemy queen. A dragon rider in the CC. That's interesting. Gonna rage up the queen again. She's gonna make her way to the core. Dragon Rider's gonna snipe a few defenses. That's looking cool. Single target in front of tower locks onto the Drag Rider. Are we just gonna let him die? Yep. Queen fights the Royal Champion. Now we gotta start freezing up. Freeze, freeze, freeze. Ooh, perfect. We find the Tornado Trap, but miners don't care about Tornado Traps. <coughs> Queen can take out the Town Hall. We're still holding on to that Warden ability as well. We're gonna freeze up the Town Hall one more time. Are we gonna heal or are we gonna pop a Warden? He pops a Warden. We're going to rage up the Queen. He still has a Wall Breaker that he can save for the back end. Healers are switching, but then they switch back. Uses the RC late from the top side of the base. Healers, no! Oh, rip. Healers and the Queen inside the Giga Juice and the Warden. Ooh, it's a little awkward. But we still got RC ability. We still got like a million Miners. I think he still gets it, even with Queen and Warden going down. There goes the Freeze. The miners are low. The RC has her ability. Time is low. 22 seconds. RC ability. Boom, bada bing, bada bam. No skelly traps to distract. Rip the base. It's another three star from Yurek of Vatang. And Vatang are still perfect in this match. Din Din is in with the final attack for X team. It's simple. He has to triple for his team to have a chance to win. They have to triple and get a defense. That's the only way they can beat Batang. You're going in with an early Blizz. Ooh, that's a nice spot for the Blizz. With the Hound out in front. <gasps> but the NATO! Oh! Does he still get the Town Hall? Oh, he's only got two invis left. Bro, that NATO from Lands Lotta was perfect. But the Town Hall still drops. Please. Please. Oh! Oh! The giant bomb! But they still get everything. Oh! That was scary, bro. That NATO. Woo. We're going to pull the headhunters up top with the hound. We're going to wall break. Okay. On both sides? Oh, what was that wall break? Warden into headhunters? No! Din Din, you're throwing! That was an accident. Oh my gosh. He meant to drop the queen and he drops an air warden. Din Din, what are you doing? RC is in. Oh, shoot. Air Warden's gonna go straight into an air defense. We're gonna send the king on the left, bro. What is going on? What is going on? Dragon Riders from the left side. Oh, this, hold on. That Warden might still stay alive. I'm not gonna call it a fail yet. This is wonky, though. King goes on the outside. Where's that king going? Rip. RC's gonna pop her ability. We need the Warden to go help out the Dragon Riders, though. If he just stays with the queen, it's not going to be the best value. Come on, Warden. Go help out the Dragon Riders, please. We're going to rage the RC. What? What? Yo, what the? We got two freezes in the bag. We got to kill this enemy queen. We're going to send a headhunter. Ooh. Ooh, bro, tell me this still has a chance. Warden switches over to the Dragon Riders. We pop that queen ability. She takes out the Inferno, bro. Bro? Uh? Queen is still alive. She takes out the Warden. She takes out the Builder Hut. We get through the Scatter, bro. No way this still works, right? One, two, three Dragon Riders up. The King with a lot of HP. That poor Unicorn's gonna die. Rip. That would have been OP if the Unicorn stayed alive. Only two Dragon Riders up. I think he gets it. Hold up. The King's alive. There's an air defense. The Dragon Riders are low. But the Warden, the King, the Party Wizard, down goes the cannon. Bro, that's a freaking three star. <laughs> no way, Din Din. Oh my gosh, there's another Dragon Rider there. I didn't see, they're on top of each other. Lol. Oh my gosh. Time, 10, 9, 8, 7. That's a three star, what the heck? I cannot believe that still tripled. Okay, 
the calculated Sui Warden, who still stays alive the entire attack. Lol. Nice attack, Din Din. Giving his team a chance to win the match. It all comes down to the final attack from PSW. They need 88% for the win. PSW is in. With the final attack of the best of two, the entire grand finals will be decided by the result of this attack now. 87% for a perfect, double perfect tie. 88% for the win. Here we go. Can PSW get it done with a Skybrid attack? We have a Skeleton spell, just one. Wonder where he's gonna use it. King going in for the Eagle Artillery. Queen going in for the enemy King and the Multi. King's gonna pop his ability, clears the entire compartment. No Teslas or Skelly Traps to stop him, but he gets everything over there. Queen finishes off the King. <laughs> Can't you go take out the multi for us? That was part of the plan. Oh, queen. Queen, come on. We're gonna have to pop her ability. Ooh, pops the ability. The giant bomb. <gasps> she dies? No. Whew, multi goes down. Here comes the skybird from the top side of the base. Gonna rage early through the multi and into the enemy archer queen. Lots of archers in the CC. We got the battle blimp for the town hall. Come on, come on. He's holding on to that warden ability. Warden already took some damage somehow. <gasps> warden? No, the owl got wrecked by a seeking air mine. Battle Blimp to go all the way downtown. We still got the Royal Champion. He still has a lot of spells. We're going to raise the Dragons. We're going to raise the Battle Blimp. We're going to freeze in the core. Down goes the Town Hall. We got to fight the enemy Royal Champion. He used a heal in the core. Town Hall went down. Tornado on the right. RC in from the bottom. Here we go. He only needs 80, 88%. Remember. Doesn't actually have to triple. We're going to freeze the Royal Champion. RC is in from the bottom. I think it's looking good for an 88. I'm not sure if he gets the triple. Dragon Riders are going down. He's got two freezes. 72. He's got some cleanup minions on the bottom side. There is a freeze on the scatter. He should be okay. Giant Bomb. RC gets distracted. Gotta pop her ability. Boom, bada bing, bada bam. Down goes the air defense. Thank you, ma'am. Free spell in the bag. It's a three star. Right? How much HP does that Dragon Rider have? He's low. We got a freeze for the RC. She stays alive. It's a triple. And Vatang with the double perfect. Two matches back to back. They do 10 attacks. They get 10 three stars. And they are going to be the champions here in the grand finals of the LIC tournament. GG's to Vatang. Honestly, GG's to X Team, bro. They came out of nowhere and got nine triples out of 10 attacks. So you got to give X Team big props as well. Amazing performance from them. But today was all about Vatang. With the victory here in match number two, they are your LIC champions. 15 stars to 14, 100% to 97.4.